Hello, and welcome to another edition of Paranormal Activity and Mysterious Stories. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is a strange spacecraft that was uh, captured. I'm not too sure where it was taken, but it's definitely interesting. And then, uh, you know, a portal opens up and this thing disappears. Uh, second is just another strange object in the sky over Las Vegas. Let's see, in this video, I'm not, I can't say for sure whether or not it's real, but it's, you know, apparently showing some tiny humanoids that were supposedly found in Antarctica. I think I might have done a video on this. It's uh, one of the earliest videos I've done. And, you know, I, I haven't been able to determine whether this is a hoax or not, but it's uh, definitely interesting. Um, this is about another monolith. As of today, Sunday, November 29th, the Utah monolith is now gone. They don't, no one knows what happened to it, but this one popped up in Romania in a Dacian, I think that's how you say that, fortress in Romania. And, uh, I actually think this one was, um, just recently placed in here, you know, based on the uh, the ground around here looks pretty fresh, like it was just buried. Um, let's see. This is a supposed video of some scientists checking out a, you know, I guess a craft that they built, Area 51. Not too sure if this is real. And then this is just another link to French. I don't understand any of this, but... It's just about, you know, supposedly some French company was building these UFO shaped craft. Uh, this is a photo that I found on Facebook and it shows this UFO just cruising down the street. I think this was in Venezuela. And let's see. And then here it's just a photo of these two man-made sculptures. One was from Mexico and another was from China, but you can see the similarities. Very interesting. And then last is just a, an image that shows the, a visual representation of, of human history. You know, you can see here if, if human history were an 800 page book, well, you know, all this time we were hunter gathers and we're actually right here in this last one. This is a uh, Darwin, this last little page so uh, i thought that was kind of interesting talk about that uh let's go to this first video here let me go full screen now watch this thing here starts to move up And you know, if you, you can kind of s s see there's some type of distortion be below it too. And then look at this thing. A light opens up. Crap goes in. Disappears. So if this video is real, you know, there's most likely a, I, I, I think there's a mothership up there that uh, is most likely camouflaging itself. But anyways, this video, it just shows it again. And we we'll watch it one more time. Yeah, you see this, that this distortion. I mean, yeah, this isn't the best quality video, you know, but I still think that uh, this film is detecting some type of, um, I guess, an exhaust plume. If you know, for, for better, I mean, I can't think of any other way to describe what I'm seeing. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. They, you know, they just do a couple different filters on, on this and it's the, they just play it over and over again, but I will leave a link in the description so you can check that out. Uh, yeah, this is not the most exciting video. This is supposedly a UFO over Vegas. Uh, 
Oh, you know what's... You know what's, what this guy is saying is that this thing is shooting something out. And I think there's another star or there's another light over here. And this guy is saying that, he, that this thing is shooting. You can kind of see something. It's very, very faint, but uh, you can see something moving away from this light. Yeah, and then here's another faint light here. Man, I wish this guy just knew how to just turn his camera. He could, he could get all that in frame if you just flip the camera. Okay, you see here? Yeah, you kind of see this. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, here's a good example of this. Whatever is going on here, you can see something is being shot out. But you know what? That's all the that's all I want to play of this guy's video. I'll leave a link and you can go to um his page or yeah, his link and check out that video. There's definitely something going on here. Okay, now, like I said, on this one, 600 million year old fossils of tiny humanoids found in Antarctica. I've definitely seen this before. Let's hear what uh, this woman has to say. Remains of what appears to be extremely small humans have been discovered in the rocky terrain of Antarctica's Whitmore mountain range. Interestingly enough, this discovery was made while the witness was in Antarctica on assignment for the National Reporter to debunk a ridiculous tabloid story about a UFO base in the area. While investigating this silly story with several colleagues, we happened upon a group of paleontologists who were searching for evidence that dinosaurs had once roamed the Antarctic continent before it tore loose from Africa and South America and drifted southward to its present location. What they found instead astonished them not only because of what it was but because of its age. We tested the fossils and have determined without a shadow of doubt that they are at least 600 million years old. Dr. Marley of Cambridge University told us... Wow, that's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, I, I can't play this whole video. I'd, I'll get hit with the copyright violations, but of course, I'll leave a link. Um, definitely check this out. Uh, like I said, you know, I, I've done a brief search. I haven't done a deep search on this but i haven't been able to find if this is a hoax or not you know um i mean this guy's saying this is an april fools joke yeah uh if you have if anyone knows any more about this i would definitely love to hear about it in the uh, in the comment section but uh, it would be very interesting to find out if this if these things are real I mean, I definitely want to believe believe that they're real, but uh, who knows? Okay, now let's uh, check this out. Yeah, like I said, you know, as of today, Sunday the 29th, the Utah monolith is gone. It's, no one knows what happened, happened to it. Um, there's uh, some rocks in its place or something, but then this guy here claims to have found this object here in Romania, but I'm, I'm thinking this is a setup just because, you know, like I said, I look at the other uh, ground here, there's no way that's, that looks too fresh. This is right on top of an archaeological site, an old Dacian stronghold. So I'm walking up at here, the old Dacian stronghold which is right above here. Yeah, let's see. And then this guy gets a close-up of this thing. And, you know, you can obviously see uh, someone took some kind of tool to this thing. But yeah, but this is, I, I definitely don't think this is, you know, anything super out of the ordinary i kind of think someone someone put this there like i said you know based on on the freshness 
of the uh, of the dirt or you know around it yeah like there you can see this i don't think this is uh that this has been here long so anyways i'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out okay now this video here let me go full screen on this because this is definitely strange I mean, if this is real, I'm going to say, yeah, this is a uh, alien reproduction vehicle, something that our government made. Yeah, I don't know why that um, idea. Now, this here. This looks fake to me. This does not look real at all. Uh, I don't want to. Yeah, that's it. I can't, I can't play the whole thing. But yeah, this this doesn't look real to me. This is highly suspect. Anyways, uh, this link or yeah, this page here. Don't know too much about it. I found it um, with a link next to this one. And it just, you know, it's in French. Don't know what it says, but it definitely shows some kind of saucer shaped craft being built. Or I don't even know if it's being built. It's just a photo of some saucer shaped craft. Could be just that. It could just be a model. It might not, you know, there's not, no telling whether this is actually functional. Uh, let's see. I have this folder here that I found on my U on my Facebook page and it just says, you know, photograph real without filters taken on the 25th of November, 2020 at 3 30 PM in Maracaibo, Venezuela. I mean, look at that thing. It's right down the road. Yeah. I don't think that, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to say it again. I don't think these, all of these crafts are coming from, other planets, other dimensions. I think uh, I think we share this planet with several highly advanced civilizations that are operating these crafts, and you know they're going about doing their what you know whatever they're doing. And maybe occasionally they come you know they come to check out the surface monkeys. I don't know, but I'll leave a link in the description. You can check that out. Uh, this is a very interesting photograph. It shows these two figurines. These man-made sculptures were made thousands of miles and hundreds of years apart, yet they depict the same figure. You know, I mean, could, could this be evidence that a, some civilization or a race came and interacted with the the humans that were on earth you know during these times and this is the representation of them but i think it's very interesting that uh, you know like hundreds of years apart hundreds of miles apart or thousands of miles apart and still very the, that headpiece is so similar I don't think that's a coincidence. And then last, here is a visual representation of human history. If history were an 800 page book. And look at this thing. Look at how long humans were hunter gatherers. Somewhere in here, humans made the first great leap in technology, which was the ability to control fire, right? And Thousands and thousands of years went by before the next great leap, which was the ability to smelt iron. Right, that um, that probably happened in here someplace. And then you know here we have agriculture, right? And look at for look for the the, the thousands of years that humans existed 
just like I said, it was a, let's see, discovery of fire, the ability to smell iron, and then thousands of years go by before the next great leap, which was the uh, electricity. Well, yeah, electricity, which, which came about in here someplace. Well, actually, no, no, the Industrial Revolution probably came about in here. Yeah, and then we have electricity probably in here someplace. And then if you think about all of the most modern conveniences, you know, you think about uh, the microchip, um, stealth technology, microwave technology, um, LED lights, you know, that all came about in the 1950s, which, which is all probably, you know, right on this black line. And if you think about it, you know, the Roswell crash happened in 1947, right? And according to uh, Philip Corso, he was given the task of um, uh, finding the crash saucers, taking the technology, giving it out to different companies and letting them uh, reverse engineer it. And then once they figured out how it worked, they owned the patents. And all of that, all of our look, you know, if you look around your world today, all of, all of your most modern conveniences all happen, all since the 1950s. And another, another thing to think about, um, you know, like while all of this was going on, right, all these humans on earth, right, were living as hunter-gatherers, someplace in here, up around the Mediterranean, you know, if you study the, the, the Mycenaeans or the Etruscans and the Minoans, right, they were living a, a life of luxury, whereas, whereas everyone else on the planet we're basically living in animal skins, you know, and hunting with spears. But you have this one group of people around the Mediterranean who are building these beautiful architectural um, works of art. I mean, look, you know, think about the, the Roman column and um, or think about uh, the, the, the Temple of Jupiter or the Temple of Bacchus. You know, that was all around here. So while the rest of the planet were literally still living like cavemen, suddenly you have a group of people who are using advanced math, calculus, trigonometry to build buildings, you know, which is why I've always believed that, um, that those people, uh, the, the, the early, the people that developed the Mediterranean were from, must have come from a different planet. You know, and another thing I, I think about, all of these hunter-gatherers, they all have melanin in their skin. You know, they all have melanin in, in order to combat the, the ultraviolet rays of the sun. But you have, suddenly you have these people with no melanin in their skin who are building these great big, you know, architectural works of art that are unlike what any of these people could build. Just, um, it's something to think about. You know, I always thought about, yeah, if, if, if you, if you sunburn, you're not from this, or your early ancestors aren't from this planet, all these hunter gatherers and on any continent, right? They don't sunburn, right? They have melanin in their skin to combat from the, the negative effects of the, of the sun. And I believe that, you know, the people that um, occupied the Mediterranean, which is, again, I mean, that's very sunny, and yet they don't have melanin in their skin and they sunburn, that, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me, you know. I think hunter-gatherers are earthlings. And um, the, the people that developed the Mediterranean, I don't think they came from this planet. I think they, I think they landed on this planet, most likely from Mars. Mars is further away from the sun. You know, I'm, I'm going to assume that if, if you developed on Mars, you didn't need melanin in your skin because you were far enough away from the, uh, from the, the sun that you didn't need it. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this video. There's a lot to think about. Uh, if you like videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I have more videos like this. Take care.